Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Arsha Goblin, and this is Goblin KTV. Just turn down the sound just a little bit. Welcome in. Um, by the way, the sound is from Sirenscape because Sirenscape builds, does amazing audio for role playing games, and we are currently playing um, Club Flux Busy at the Bar, um, which is their cyberpunkish um, nightclub style audio, which I absolutely love. And why are we playing it? Because we are looking today at Hack the Planet RPG, the one page RPG by Grant Howard, um, not the Powered by Blades version of Hack the Planet, um, which is Hack the Planet forged by Blades, I think. No, forged in the dark. It was not Powered by Blades, yeah. Powered by Blades in the dark, yes. Yeah. We're looking at the one page one. Um, it's different, <laughs> like all one page games. Um, so, like a one page game, I can't get my hands on a physical product. Generally speaking, um, we don't do these unless we have a physical product. Um, but in this case, there's no physical product. It was a photograph of a notepad released on Patreon for three years, like a while back. But this came up, um, this game itself came up in a show we did yesterday, which is what we called um, Rolling Dice and Making Shit Up. Um, it was a pilot episode where all the players are playing different, um, different RPG systems. The player was really like, was trying to learn systems from scratch, um, knowing that they had this in the back pocket of like, if it comes to 10 minutes, I can always make up a character in 10 minutes. And that's what they played. They played this, which worked because we actually were running a Shadowrun game, which they didn't know of. Um, so we're going to have a look at this. It's a one page, it's short, it's simple, and wall baits are mandatory. So let's jump in. Okay, so this is it. So um, the, the original notepad, the photo, is that, that's down below. That's the original. Um, what you can see to the side here is someone on Reddit. Um, I did have their name, sorry. Um, they made this amazing version of it. There's also a, a white version as well. Um, we usually have like a blackened tint to the screen because PDFs are really bright. This one is really dark so we've had to remove that um, just so you can read it just a little bit more clearly. Um, and usually again we don't usually go through an entire thing but it's a one page sheet free. There's, there's like we can't skip things because it's all there. So the introduction. Um, you are a teenager hacker. Teenage hacker, a console cowboy or cowgirl in the, in the year 1995 you face persecution from authorities because they think you're a criminal. You think you're a genius. Some days you're both right. Um, you pick a boring name and a cool handle. Um, and in in the character creation, you do 2d10 when you select essentially outfits, signature pieces of your outfit from those two 2d10 rolls. Well, there's two D10 rolls, I should say, um, and you also wear rollerblades. This is non-negotiable. Um, that came into effect yesterday when climbing up ladders and stairs and stuff. That's always fun, but of course, rollerblades. Perfect. Um, this is the one I like. This is what I didn't know yesterday because I was. Um, you roll twice on your on on the list below. One is your secret objective, which you don't tell anyone, and what one is the apparent objection, which you tell everybody. Um, and there's some interesting ones in here. Um, um, one of them is like, getting into an Ivy League college. Hmm. Um, and another one is uh, make out with, with um, in brackets, other random PC while 90s music plays in the background. Um, bit weird. I um, have a virus named after you. Um, get some revenge against some asshole. Um, build something that will last, hack something that's never been hacked before, um, things like that. Um, so that's character creation. Um, well, that's the background creation. The character creation is, you have two stats. You have meat space, you have cyberspace. That's it. Divide five points between them when you start playing. So you've got meat space and you've, and you've got cyberspace, and you've got five points to put into them. That's all you've got. Roll meet space when you do anything difficult in the real world. Roll cyberspace for anything in the virtual world. 
that's it. That's the character creation done. All there. Um, so, your action. This is a dice ball system. So, in the dice ball, you have, you roll a number of d6s equal to the action that you're using. So, meat space, you've got a number of, say you've got two in meat space, three in, in cyberspace. If you're doing a meat space roll, you've got two dice to roll. If you've got a cyberspace to roll, you have three dice to roll. Fives and sixes are successes. Sixes explode. Um, exploding dice mean you roll another dice, and if that's an also, and just get more successes. That's how it works. Um, and they can keep exploding as well. There's an infinite amount of exploding dice on this, uh, from what I can figure. Um, the other part is, is every time you roll a one, you gain heat, and, and the heat escalates in lots of five, ten, fifteen, twenty. At twenty, you become a wanted criminal. And so the man starts, you start getting in trouble with the man every time you get, um, if you start, you want every numbers of five or one. Um, other than that, um, you get an elite token. Um, you get an elite token um, every time you get into trouble. So every time you get those five, ten, etc., um, you get an elite token which can be given to someone else as a buff when you tell them, you can do this, you're elite. Um, and that's how you buff them. Um, in hacking, um, I love how it's written. Although you may, although you may well flash back to images of characters sitting in front of their computers, um, each hacking attempt must feature a sped up high contrast footage of trains, traffic, computer games, floating equations, fractal, fractals, cartoons, blowing virtual cities, and explosions. Um, if we did this as a show, um, I would be asking the slide producers to, to just set up a few of those from stock images and just like every time we do that, we'd have that blast on the screen because it's called for apparently. Um, <laughs> that would be a very big epilepsy warning. Yep. Um, in, addition, in addition to imagery, um, cut out words on the table below. You can see them in the in the notepad. And there's also a bit more refined in the PDF version. Um, so you cut out the words in the table below. Um, every time you hack, you draw three of those from a bowl. And when you're describing your hack, you need to try to splice in those words into the, like into how you're describing your hack, into into your little monologue of what you're going to do to take on the man. And yesterday when Dell was playing this. Um, it sounds weird that Dell was playing this while we were playing a different game, but that was part of what we were doing for that, that pilot. Um, Dell was really good at just like putting them in and it was really easily for her to just like to splice them in. And every time you do that, um, you get to re-roll one. Um, so one per each, um, so one per each word that you've spliced in, um, or out of those three that you pick up. Um, so then there's the man. Um, so that's, that's pretty much the whole how to do everything. Um, the man is, well, it could be random. So you roll a d6 as the GM, and um, it could be city hall embezzlement, funding believing in terrorists, mass identity theft, etc, etc. And so you're, as the GM, you roll on that table and go, okay, this is what it's going to be. And then you start putting things together, and you actually put faces to everything and start building a what the whole scenario is from that but it's really really simple that is it that's hack the planet um from the little that i saw yesterday it worked really funny um like these one shots are, are here they are meant to be funny they're meant to be humorous and it worked it was great um del played this amazingly she got into it she refused to be called her mundane name her normal boring name um, which was Del Fuck, I don't know, because I asked her a name when she was really super stressed and focused on something, um, on another system, learning it from scratch. And I was like, I don't know, Del Fuck, I don't know. And, okay, with that, because I was making the overlay at the time, um, in the pre-show, because of course we do. And that's how it ended up. Um, and then in, when she switched onto this, like, it just worked as her, as one of her two names. Um... But yeah, she, she really got into it. Um, she wanted to like sign off like her identity of like, 
of Cyber Dragon, um, even changing the code to like a security code to like the, the Cyber Dragon in, in, in like in was it T9 language or like coding or something. It's just like it was awesome. It was brilliantly done. Um, having two stats, okay, that's a bit weird, but we've also the last one shot we did on the last one page we did was um, bubble gum or out of gum, which again only had two stats, mundane and over the top action hero. So for this, it works. Um, you've got the added functionality of like getting re rolls for the hacking, um, the hacking words that you put out of the hat. You've got each build up, and as he builds up, you can transfer that and use that as a resource as well to give off bonuses to others. So and there's there's a little bit of complexity. But it's still it's a one it's a one page. There's nothing more. It's such a simple system. Um, so if you're gonna do like you can do this as a cyber like if you go into a cyberpunk as like a let's just let's fuck around and have some fun without having to learn like the full cyberpunk grid or shadow run or like there's quite a few out there. Um, carbon um, 20, 2185 I think it is. And yeah, there's a few. So if you don't want to read all that, it's like, hey, let's play Cyberpunk and like a Cyberpunk style game. That. Done. <laughs> you hacked the planet in the 90s, mid 90s. Um, just bloody amazing. Absolutely really good. Um, so that's it. I'll keep it nice and short. That's it. Um, done. <laughs> so if you like our stuff, um, click on like. Um, follow the channel. It's free on on um, on YouTube. It's totally free. You can subscribe. Um, you can ring the bell to get notifications when we do other stuff because subscribing doesn't, which is weird. Um, other than that, um, yeah. Um, for the live recording, um, I'm just gonna um, finish up and say, yep. See you next week and um, um, yeah, and I'll continue with the other. Oh, by the way. We got, we got notified that we're part of the World 20 program, World 20 Spotlight. Yay! That's a big announcement, which I just hid at the back of this video. Oh, secret. Because it's hacking. Yeah. So, um, see you next week, and um, I'm going to do the live feed.